hello you guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be reviewing this YSL foundation and a couple of the YSL lipsticks that I purchased I think I purchased this a couple of weeks ago it's been a while since it's been sitting in my drawer but basically what had happened was I was going to Sephora to restock on all of my skincare stuff that I was running out of and the vendor from YSL, I think his name was Sebastian. I'm pretty sure his name was Sebastian. And he was there and the associate that was outside, because we had to wait outside to get in because of the uh, limit to people. Um, she was telling me that he's, you know, been in the makeup game for a long time. He is here for YSL and he's engraving names on lipsticks. If you buy lipstick, he'll engrave your name for free on the lipstick. Um, so I wasn't really planning on like buying anything, but I went into Sephora, got all of my skincare stuff and I thought I need to get like look at my foundation shade. I think I had hadn't exchanged it yet. So I was going to just go look at my Estee Lauder to see if they had my shade, Ivory Beige. And I was going by and he came up to me and he was like, hi, are you looking for something? And I was like, yeah, I'm just looking for my color in Estee Lauder, but it looks like you guys don't have it. It's been sold out at Ulta here. I don't, I don't know what, I'm just gonna have to like probably go online to get it. And he was like, well, have you tried, you know, the YSL foundation? And I was like, no. He was like, what kind of skin do you have? I was like, I have really oily skin. Um, I have to use the Becca uh, Ever Matte Primer because my skin just is super oily. That's why he told me to try out this one. Uh, so this one is the All Hours Foundation. Let me see if I can say this word. Octino Octinoxate octanoxate sunscreen broad spectrum spf 20. um so this says it's up to 24 hours flawless uh, matte full coverage and it's oil free so i thought why not i'll give it a shot <laughs> so i purchased it um and i normally like to put on like the matching uh foundation powder they didn't have it so he also recommended to me to just try to get like this urban decay all-nighter long wear mattifying uh, powder just to put on top of it. I wasn't thinking about getting a lipstick at all but he was telling me how like there he's gonna be there just for that day just engraving names on lipsticks and I was thinking to myself like this is kind of like a once in a lifetime thing I don't think I'm ever gonna have the opportunity to ever get my name engraved on a lipstick again especially like a high-end makeup brand like YSL so I bought a lipstick <laughs> so I um, he engraved my name on the lipstick and then I went home and we ha me and Michael had to go back out for something and I was driving and I was like man I really wish I would have got like a more neuter color because the color I got was more like pinky so I was like I just want to go back and just see like if they have any other color that I like so I went back and I was able to find two more nudes um, and I bought them so they're a little bit different than the first one that I bought but you'll see later in the video I'm going to show them and give you guys swatches but I ended up buying two more so I got three lipsticks total with my name engraved on them which I think is pretty cool like it's it's really like a once in a lifetime thing for me anyway so I I thought that was pretty cool I, this is like my first real high-end purchase uh, makeup that I've ever bought ever I've never bought YSL I don't even think I've ever bought Dior no I haven't bought Dior Giorgio Armani luminous silk nothing like that so if you want to see what I got from YSL then please keep watching <laughs> There was like this picture of Kourtney Kardashian that I really, really liked and I really tried to curl my hair like it and it just, man, it didn't come out like that. I have not been having luck with my hair at all. Like trying to curl it, do anything with it for these videos. Like I look just like I have a bird's nest and it's just so frizzy. Like I, I was trying to go for those kind of vibes 
it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my favorite primer, the Becca one, and hope that it helps my makeup, you know, the foundation not like slide everywhere. So let's just put this on. I always have issues with like my pores. Um, like right here, like I have like, I don't know, some kind of like, my skin just has like these like weird bubbles right here. And then I have huge pores on my nose. There is where I go in with the Smashbox, just so that way I can blur my pores a little bit. Helps your girl out just a smidge. So this is what the box looks like. Nice and gold all the way around. This is what the foundation looks like. Oh, it says to shake well before using, so shake it up. This should be my shade. He tried his best to color match me, um, but you know, they had to color match me on that, that like acrylic piece of plastic. So I don't know, this looks kind of light. So I am, thank God it comes with a pump because my herb, my, not my Urban Decay, my Estee Lauder does not come with a pump. I have to buy the pump separately and it's $10. So I never buy it because I never want to spend $10 on a pump. I mean, I know I could use it over and over again, but I just can't bring myself to buy it for some reason. I don't know why. So I just always pour it on in my beauty blender. I'm just going to, should I put it like on my face? I see a lot of people do that nowadays. So they just kind of, okay. Oh yeah, I think this is going to be too light. I'm gonna have to work with this. So it, first thing, it doesn't seem like super liquidy. I mean, it is running down a little bit, but that's just gravity. It seems kind of thick. So let's just go in and blend it. <laughs> I kept the receipt. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna go have to go back and uh, make an exchange for a darker sh shade because this is too too light for me. <laughs> oh, but it smells great. It's this smells really good, which means it probably has fragrance in it. And if you don't like fragrance, then yeah. Um, currently my skin is recovering from trauma. I had my first moon in a while because, yeah, I'm irregular. So, um, I'm just going to go in with this pro concealer color corrector just to kind of color correct. You know, I have some spots here that are pretty bad. She got me off. She got me good. She really did. Okay. I need to shave. Oh my God. I need to shave and I need to go get my brows done again. I feel like I say that every time I'm on here recording. I gotta go get my brows done. I gotta go get my brows done. Cause I do. It's, I kind of let it dry. It is, it looks really dry. So, so, we just go like that. And then, so now I'm gonna go in and finish the rest of this foundation. <laughs> It's really white, you guys. <laughs> and you know what? Summer is coming, like coming too. So I feel like I should go exchange it for a darker shade because I'm just gonna get darker. Put a dot right on my chin. You know, it dried pretty quickly up here. Like when I first went up here first, it dried pretty quickly. So kinda gotta work a little fast. 
I can still see the green down there. So I just I'm gonna go in with a little more. I'm gonna leave my eyes alone because I just go in there with the concealer and primer anyway. So that pretty much covers that up for me. And I, I find that when I put foundation over my eyes and then I do my eyes and then I go in with a concealer that it gets really cakey and it gets really dry under there. So I've been leaving my eyes alone with the foundation so it doesn't get too dry and cakey. It smells really good, dries really fast. So I'm going to actually be going out tonight. So we'll see how this holds up. Next, I'm just gonna set it with this all nighter um, long wear mattifying weightless primer. I mean, not primer, powder. Uh, Sebastian actually suggested at the store that I get this for my powder. So this is what it looks like. It has like rain droplets on it, which is pretty cool. And then that's the powder. So it has a mirror. You know how I am about my mirror. So I'm just gonna go in with a brush and put it all on my face. You guys, I cleaned all of my brushes Tuesday all of them I am so proud of myself like that is an accomplishment I have so many brushes and for me to clean them all in one day like I'm just so proud so I'm just gonna take it and just pat it on I find patting is better than whoosh, going in and just like dragging Right, so now that I've gone in with setting powder, it's actually kind of like darkening up just a bit. I'm just gonna go ahead, do my brows, the rest of my makeup off camera, and then I'll show you guys uh, the swatches of the lipsticks that I got. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the rest of my makeup. So I bought three lipsticks from YSL so two of them are the same one of them's not so the first one that I bought was uh Rouge Volupte <laughs> Volupte Shine um oil and stick so this is like an oil e based kind of lipstick and then that is in the color nude 44 and then the other two are just the Rouge Per Couture. And then these are more of like a matter kind of color. So I got Beige Tribute and I got New Fatal. So this is that oil-based one. Okay, so if you can see my name, Mariana, right there. So this is the first one I got. And that one was in the color Nude. And then this is the next one I got. My name, Mariana. I got all the same fonts. So... This is the YSL logo right there, and then my name engraved right there. And then this is the second one. So this is just the same style, second one. Okay, so this is the oil-based one first. This is in the color Nude. So let me swatch this on my hand for you guys. See how like kind of, that's really, really kind of oily. Like it slides on and off. You can look at this. It's pretty, you know, shiny. So these are the more matte ones. You can see like it's more of like a true lipstick and it also has the engraving right there. YSL. And that is Beige Tribute. And then this one is in New Fatal. Um, this is more of like a darkery kind of color. So. And that's the new fatal so for the most part they all look pretty glossy ish um, I mean and that's not bad because I don't like my lips to be hella dry so that's not a bad thing to have it like glossy 
Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with this Dose of Colors um, XOXO lip liner and just line my lips real quick before I apply the lipstick. I liked New Fatal, so I'm gonna go in with that one. They're all numbered, so this is number 85. So I'm gonna go in with that on my lips. And I'm gonna have to blend the lip liner. I used too dark of a lip liner. Uh, let me blend it. Hopefully that helps a little bit, me trying to blend it. I keep forgetting that this lip liner is so dark, but look at, it's so light. Always throws me off. There's no like, scent that I can really smell to this one. Okay, and that is the lip. I think it looks really pretty. I like it. Um, like I said, it's not like a super, super matte lipstick. It's it's more on the, like, gl not glossier side, but, you know, the more, what is it called? Satin kind of side. So it's not super matte, but I, I don't mind that because I don't like my lips to be really, really dry. So I like this lipstick. This is a pretty lipstick, so we'll see how it holds um throughout the day but so far the foundation is really nice i i do think it was kind of light at first but then that urban decay powder like really darkened it up so i think it made it a little too dark i think i'm too dark for that powder because yeah this is not the same color as my chest but the foundation it's so far holding up. I don't feel like I'm oily, which is something that I have a problem with. So I feel like for the most part, it pretty much, it's holding up. So we'll see how the night goes throughout the night, but that is this foundation review. So what I can say is the foundation smells really, really good, um, which I'm guessing, you know, it's probably has fragrance in it I don't see perfume on the the label but it smells it smells really good I like the way it smells I like that it comes with the pump you don't have to buy the pump separate so it was a little light at first but I was able to work with it and you know deepen it up darken it up with my powder and all of that stuff contour so uh, that pretty much helped it out but for the most part I don't feel any oiliness it's holding up pretty well. Um, I used a really strong matte primer, so that primer is pretty good. So for the most part, it looks really good. Like I'm surprised, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this or not, but for how much it cost, I was like, man, this better work. So, I mean, it, it's pretty nice. I can see like in some areas though, like where it's getting like, uh, where. It, kind of got cakey and right here um I couldn't blend out my contour like it kind of got like stuck and cakey so like I can see like some parts where it got cakey especially like around here my nose like my nose area like it it looks kind of cakey so I think that if you use this foundation you have to go in with just a couple of drops because a little bit goes a long way and I don't think I would go in with a, a beauty sponge again I think I would just probably go in with like a brush or something because um, I don't know I, I just don't feel like the, the sponge helped at all so um, but for the most part I mean it it looks pretty good I mean I don't know what do you guys think comment down below what you think about the foundation i mean to me it's looking pretty good in the camera so i don't, I don't know and then as far as the lipstick goes i love the way these two are 
these two are the perfect lipstick it's not super matte not super oily I love these two these ones are absolutely amazing this one however if if I didn't have my name engraved on it I probably would return it mm, I'm sorry Sebastian but it's just so like oily like I told him that I didn't really want like a super matte because I don't like my lips to be hecka dry but I'm I think this is a little too much oil for me it's just it feels like it slips and slides off of my lips but I mean for the packaging come on like this is the classic YSL like packaging like so of course I'll keep it but you know I, I don't think I would really wear this one that much but and you know it's kind of like a once in a lifetime thing to have your name engraved on your YSL lipstick so I I love that so that's why I bought those all right and that's pretty much it for this video you guys so, like I said, just comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the foundation and what's your favorite lipstick color. Um, and then let me know if you want a tutorial on how I did this eye look because I can do that. <laughs> I didn't actually film like my eye, my eyeshadow. So, I, if you guys want to see how I got it, then let me know down below in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I have another video that I have to film right now. Um, so I don't think I have anything else to say except thank you guys. Love you. Make sure that you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!